Hi children, this is Chinmay sir here. In this video, we are discussing a categories of computer and computer language. Now, what do we mean by the categories of computer? Categories of computer actually depends on their size, speed, storage, capacity and cost. Let's take the example as your timetable. So, according children, according to your timetable, you will bring a box. Same as according to our work, we will select the computers. So, let us discuss the types of computer. The types of computer, one of the uh, types of computer, microcomputer. So, microcomputer is a small size and cost is less. It's a very important point. Uh, microcomputer is a small in size and cost is less. And usually designed for the personal use. Therefore, they are also called the personal computer or PC. Where the microcomputer are used? Microcomputer are basically used in a home, school, office, shop, bank, etc. Are using or uh, used in a microcomputers. So, microcomputer are given the different name according to their uses. So, uh, uh, let's see one by one. Uh, desktop computer. So, what do you mean by desktop computer? That is fit on the top of the desk. It's come from the several units such as monitor, keyboard, CPU, mouse, etc. Now, next in a laptop computer. These computer are in small size and can be placed on your lap. It's mainly used in a people who travel a lot. Now, next is a tablet computer. These computer are smaller than the laptop computer but bigger than a smartphone. It is used in a touch sensitive screen for typing navigations. Now next one is the pump top. Pump top computer is a small in device that can fit on your plum, pump of our hand. It is it has a small screen and compressed keyboard. Now next one is a handheld computer. Handheld computer uh, the device it is a computer device that are in small in size easily held in your hand are called a handheld device this handheld computer are also known as a or uh, also called a personal assistant personal digital assistant that is pda it also have a touch enable display screen as their input output interface or a simple display unit of the keyboard so children what do you mean by the interface it is the enabling a user to communicate with the computer example smartphone tablet etc are the example of handheld computer so so what do you mean by the smartphone the smartphone is a, a device in the combination of uh, combination with features of personal computer with common feature of mobile phones the common feature of mobile phone it means it can be used for making receiving the call text web browsing email etc now next one is the game console a video game console a computer device uh, that output video signal or visual image to display the video games that one one or more people can play so this device provide with the display screen with the game control speaker etc now it is basically used in a, it is basically connected to a tv or the computer so next one is the embedded system it is a very important thing so what is important embedded systems so embedded system is the combination of computer hardware and software embedded or implemented in a large device it consists of all essential components it consists of all essential component like your computer like cpu ram rom input output medium but but important thing but doesn't have a keyboard keyboard and screen it designed to perform the specific task for a various device let take the one example uh, uh, let the things example the tv digital camera washing machines in this device we are using a embedded systems so embedded system it is also called a microcomputer microcontroller So let us take the one example to understand the concept of embedded computer with the help of given example. Suppose the person it is the one user or uh, you are the you are here. The some person give the instruction to the micro oven but micro oven does not understand. So these instructions are convert or translate them into a command. Translate them into a command. And that command are passed on the micro oven to obtain a desired output. Hope you are un understood. So next uh, types of computer, mini computer. These computer are bigger size, high processing speed and costlier than the micro computer. These computer are capable to support about 4 to 200 users simultaneously. This mini computer are used in a bank, universities and other big organizations. So where mini computer are used? Mini computer are used in a bank, university and other big organization. So next one is the mainframe computer. These computer are very powerful, big in size with large memory and high speed. It mainly use the bulk data processing. So bulk means huge data processing in a large organizations. 
सो द एग्जाम्पल अफ द मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर आर आई बी एम जेड सेरीज पी डी टेन हु आर द मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर आर यूज मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर आर यूज लाइक बैंक यूनिवर्सीज रेलवे रेलवे टिकेट रिजर्वेशन एक्सेट्रा आर यूजिंग इन ए मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर सो ना सुपर कंप्यूटर सुपर कंप्यूटर आर द मोस्ट पावरफुल कंप्यूटर विथ ह्यूज प्रोसेसिंग स्पीड दिस परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द सुपर कंप्यूटर इज कॉमनली मेजर इन ए फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट सो सो चिल्ड्रेन व्हाट डू मीन द फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट मीन्स सपोज वी वांट टू टेक द डेसिमल फॉर्म द डेसिमल फॉर्म सपोज द नंबर इज ए इन डेसिमल फॉर्म दैट इज ए फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट ऑपरेशन पर सेकेंड दैट इज द फ्लॉप्स इंस्टेड ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन पर सेकेंड दैट इज एम आई पी एस मिलियंस ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन पर सेकेंड इट इज दिस सुपर कंप्यूटर मेनली यूज फॉर ए वेदर फॉरकास्टिंग स्पेस रिसर्च सेटेलाइट कंट्रोल एटसेट्रा आर द यू आर यूजिंग इन ए सुपर कंप्यूटर ना एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द सुपर कंप्यूटर आर द क्राई वन परम परम क्राइ टू एक्सेट्रा द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द सुपर कंप्यूटर नाउ चिल्ड्रेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग ए द कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज लेट एस वेरी केयरफुली चिल्ड्रेन वी आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द लैंग्वेज कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज सो चिल्ड्रेन सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू टेक द वन एग्जाम्पल सपोज आई नो आई नो ओनली द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो समन समन विल कम्युनिकेट विथ मीन्स Communicate with me. He or she will talking a only English language, or otherwise I cannot understand. Because if or if the he or she is uh, saying the any other language, I cannot understand. I can only the English language. So computer have a particular language. The computer have the own language is there to understand the that language only. so whatever i am saying i am saying or whatever you are talking to the computer the computer cannot understand so it means it will be converted it will be translate let's see so children language is the what do you mean by the language language is a medium to express our views to express our views and feeling we need we need a language so why we need the language language is the medium to express our views and feeling we need a language that computer understand so computer requires so, so children computer requires a set of instructions computer requires always the set of instruction given by the user to work if we will not give the instruction to the computer computer will not work as the same thing computer uh, computer always require the set of instruction to given by the user to work so, this set of instruction this set of instruction are known as a are known as program to tell the computer what to do the process of now next one is the process of the process of writing a specific instructions so this type of instruction because computer understand the instruction computer have the own language so this instruction we are writing this a specific instruction in a computer language is called a programming children difference between the program and programming program means this is a set of instructions known as a program then the process of writing the specific instruction children very carefully the set of instruction are known as a process of matlab means whatever you are making you are making the instructions this set of instruction are known as a program but the process of writing the process of writing a specific instruction in a computer is called a programming it has a own specific rules that have a same thing our english language we are writing a english language we have a some grammars or we have a some specific rule same thing the process of uh, computer language have a some specific rules are there the process of writing a specific instruction in a computer language is called a programming it has own specific rule so basically computer language is divided into a four categories one is a machine language assembly language high level language and fourth generation of language so today uh, we are discussing a machine language so children what do you mean by machine language it is only language that machine can understand very important the things it only the language that machine can understand is expressed in a binary form because the computer always understand the binary form because computer understand only the machine language that is a binary form that is zero and one zero means zero means off zero means off zero means off and one means one means on one means 
on and it is very difficult to write and debug the program it is very difficult to write and debug the program next point of the machine language it is a machine dependent it is a machine dependent a machine language program written in one one computer may or may not be run on another computer very carefully children it is a machine dependent it is a machine dependent a machine language program written in one computer suppose you are writing in a this language you are writing in a one computer but it may or may not be run on another computer so now next one is a machine language is a high speed and low memory utilizations so machine language has a high speed and low memory utilizations so children next video will discuss the any other language so thank you God bless you.